Welcome back everyone. A gorgeous night out there in Helena. Of course, Carroll College always looking stunning this time of year. Gray Falls, not really what sure, <laughs> sure is what's happening over there, but it does look nice. Now, let's talk a little bit about your weekend weather here. We're really tracking that trend of dominating high pressure, but this weekend we're going to be seeing some periods of fog and freezing rain develop. So drive safe out there at night when it is cold enough for that precipitation to freeze on the roads and be safe out there if you encounter any reduced visibility from that fog. Now, it's almost New Year's. We're almost done with the year. So I'm going to show you your next year's forecast here in just a minute in my extended. But let's take a look at that satellite radar. Definitely some coastal action happening here in the United States. So towards our coast, the West Coast, we're seeing some showers formulate Northern California, Western Oregon and Western Washington getting some rain. Now there is a little bit of snow falling as well in those higher elevations. So generally speaking, they are getting hounded with that moisture. Well, not a lot of it is tracking inland towards Montana, but we did see a little bit of activity today in the southeastern part of the state towards Miles City, but it wasn't very prominent. That's really going to continue to be the pattern here over the next few days. But by the time we hit Sunday into Monday, so the first day of the new year, we are anticipating some snow to move back in to Montana. So keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully, hopefully we get some fresh powder out there and some much needed moisture. So until we get there, really, we're going to be on the drier side, except for Saturday evening. We're tracking some precipitation to move on into this northwest corner of the state. So state so Kalispell and Missoula tracking mixed precipitation and again freezing rain potential for Saturday night into Sunday. So drive very carefully out there on the roads. We also are going to see some more cloud cover Saturday night into Sunday because of this this short wave of low pressure. Dillon even potentially Sunday morning seeing a little bit of a flurry pass down. Now none of these showers are going to be very strong. They're really on the lighter side and really only dropping a trace amount of accumulation, if anything. All right, let's talk temperatures. They're going to be cold tonight, so make sure your heat is turned all the way up. We're looking at those 20 degree temperatures at the coolest point. Then we're going to warm back up tomorrow to uh, very similar conditions to what we've been dealing with. So many of us in the 40s tomorrow, Mile City actually on the cooler side with a high of 36, 45 in Great Falls, 35 in Missoula. Sunday, the last day of the year, some of us are going to get more sunshine than others. Cloudier conditions towards Helena that day with a high of 41 and then 50 degrees in Great Falls. So if you're going out to celebrate New Year's Eve, I don't know if there's a ball drop in Helena, but if there was one, here's what you're going to be looking at for the temperature on midnight on Sunday. It's going to be 29 degrees out there, so bundle up. It is going to be cold in Helena. Our skies are going to be partly cloudy and we will have a light breeze. So you're going to want all those extra layers. Now this is actually Great Falls. So if you're going out to celebrate uh, Great Falls, maybe you're going to the Mermaid Bar. It's going to be 32 degrees out there at uh, midnight on Sunday night. So ringing in this new year on a very cold note, bundle up here uh, in Montana. You know the drill. All right, looking at this seven day forecast for next year, Monday, January 1st, we're going to see a high of 40 degrees in Helena and then cooling down into the 30s there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Now, when this low pressure moves in next week, we are going to continue to track a little bit of moisture into Montana, but we're looking at heavier storms to move in for that second week of January. All right, taking a look at that great falls forecast. We are on the warmer side here Saturday, Sunday with highs reaching the mid 40s to up to low 50s. And then we start to cool down next week, getting back into those low 40s Tuesday, 